Hi, it's me again, Rishi Tznel. And today I have a good news. We found my recorder. Well, my son did, while doing some cleanup in the minivan. So I guess the thing I could get from this story is don't empty your pockets and your bags while in a vehicle that is moving. That could help to not drop stuff. I believe, I believe that's what happened. So, yeah. Anyways. So today, that's not the only thing that I have got today for you. I made a tutorial about moon photography and how to have a clean shot and how to stack those pictures to make them cleaner. So, first of all, you, you should ideally have a tripod and a remote on your camera, ideally, because the remote will help against uh, shaking and moving, because just pushing the shutter on the, the camera is enough to uh, move the camera. And since, for this instance, in this tutorial, I'm, I was using a 75 by 300 millimeters, and this is enough at this distance to just, the, the slightest move is enough to uh, get things out of focus or just blurry. The other thing is you should disable the autofocus on your lens because the autofocus will have a hard time to figure out what to take into focus because it's too dark outside. So it would help to just manually set the focus on that. So that's one thing. And without further ado, we just go to the computer and check it out. So here I used the Adobe Bridge application to open my RAW files. I prefer to use the um, RAW format because I have more flexibility to change the exposure or contrast and all that. But uh, it's fine as, as well to use the uh, JPEG format. So that's not a problem. You can use a JPEG file to uh, stack with the application. No problem there. So here we see that the images that I took were set at f5.6 with an ISO of 100 and a shutter speed of 60. So I use this application to uh, open multiple images at the same time and be able to crop them all at the same time because the application that I use for stacking them, which is Registax, um, has some issues with RAM because it's an old program. It's only running in 32 bits, so it's it's having issues with the um, opening a lot of images at the same time because of the RAM usage. So overall, uh, having big images like that, like th those are uh, 6,000 by 4,000 or so. So those are big images and opening a lot at a time can be a problem with the programs because it needs to open all of them in memory and it takes a lot of space in, in RAM. So reducing them and cropping them a bit will help this process. It is normally recommended to have a hundred images to uh, have better results, but here for the, uh, this tutorial, we'll only have uh, maybe 10, 10 of those, and we, we can achieve a good result as well. So we'll see what it gives us. So I'll now open it with Camera Raw, the application that can crop multiple images at once. So here we'll select all the images by clicking the first one and holding shift, the shift key, and then selecting the last one. It's a good thing to check if the images are clear as much as possible. So as we can see here, it's, it's not bad. So now all we have to do is crop those images. So you'll see it's very scientific the way I do it. So while doing it, we just make sure that we don't cut one of the images uh, too much and we leave some moon to see in the in the images. And then we have all the images cropped with only the moon with smaller size files. So now we're ready to save them all. So we'll use the JPEG format at 12, so it's the maximum quality. And here we go. And it's done. And here we use the Registax application uh, in order to stack all the images, so we open them. The application may seem to be complicated, but overall it, it has a lot of options, but you don't need to know all of them to be, uh, to be able to do something quite nice with that. So first you just select the uh, set align points, then you go with align, 
and after that with limit. Then you go with stack. And after that, you go in the wavelet. You can load a scheme uh, from Tony Northrup. So I'll include the URL to give him credit. So you can put simply the URL directly in the dialog box and the application will download it. Then you just do all. And then you save the image. And after that, you're done. Ready to publish this new and beautiful image. So as you can see, this isn't very hard. It's not that hard to do that. And again, it's it's a very basic tutorial. It's not it's not very advanced, but it can get the job done. So that's it for me today. So the question of the day is. Did you ever try to do night photography or moon or the space or stars or whatever? Did you ever try it or will you try it? Let me know in the comments. And till then, ciao!